uh, you know, I have a lot of free time these days because, like, I don't go to school and, like, people don't like me anymore. You know, I, I've started drawing a little bit. So, so as you can see, that's me with a dope-ass dick. Who is the most important figure in world history to you? Me. <laughs> Do you believe that this is a 32-year-old Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist? We roasted pig and ate as a six-year-old boy. The whole nine yards? That's, you know, that's it. Jackalating on homegirls. I just read about this whack shit that happened on the moon like 40 years ago. Our story this week is about Moshe Gelberman, a 32 year old journalist who worked for the NPR podcast American Stories. Reporting on neo Nazis on the internet, this is Moshe Gelberman. This week, we're sponsored by six different mattress companies. In alphabetical order, they are Alice Mattress, Candy Mattresses, Double Heel. Moshe was ready for his next challenge. He wanted to investigate the psychological strains of social media on the youth of today. He decided the best way to do this would be to go undercover as a teenager. He enrolled at Fort Lee High School as an 11th grader, and the journalism began. He definitely looked older. And he was weirder. Like he kept asking me what my favorite episode of Will and Grace was. One time I asked if I could go over to his house to work on a project and he just said, I'm an orphan and ran away. Moshe was entrenching himself in high school culture. He saw that all his friends were using Instagram. So he downloaded the app and gave it a go. His early streams were not successful. Hey everyone, Moshe here. What does everyone think about the Armenian Genocide? But then one day, Moshe saw that some of his classmates were submitting videos for a rap music contest. He wanted to fit in. So in his bedroom, he threw together a beat and uploaded it to YouTube under the name Rapzilla. Just a young thug. Rapzilla! To all my fellow teenagers out there. I'm just like you. Mom, stop packing my lunch, bitch. Stop sending me to private school. Dad, stop telling me I can do anything cause I can't be an endocrine surgeon like you. I use naughty words to describe my women that start with B and end in itches. And if you couldn't tell from the clues provided, that word is bitches. That video got 11 million hits, and Moshe realized the thrill of being popular on the internet. Yo, what up, internet? Rapzilla here. What the shit's going on with my parents? Yo, I love smoking weed. Moshe became a phenomenon on social media. He was getting likes by the millions. He even secured a sponsorship with Axe Body Spray and he became addicted. He no longer responded to Moshe. It was just Rapzilla. And to be honest, I thought that was cool. He was so inspirational. And his catchphrase, eat my dick shorts, that was so funny. Eat my dick shorts. Eat my dick shorts. I'm in synagogue, but eat my dick shorts. I mean, looking back on it, I, I had no idea what it meant or why he kept saying it, but at the time, I thought it was funny. He had this raw energy about him that, frankly, we found very disconcerting. I mean, he was a bully to other students, and I'm convinced he just does not know what a rhyme is. Yeah, I know what a rhyme is. It's just like, you know, when you have a, a word and then another word, like sick and bitch. And he's like, ah, ah, boo, boo. Like sick and uh, bop. No, those don't rhyme. But then they're like together and like sick and like uh, sick. 
in retrospect, it's confusing. Does Rapzilla not know what a rhyme is, or does this 32-year-old journalist not know what a rhyme is? Because that just wouldn't make any sense. Rapzilla was everywhere. Everywhere, that is, except at home with his wife and four-year-old daughter. We spoke with his wife. Is this about my ex-husband? A fucking idiot. I don't want to talk about it. How does nobody notice that he's not 17? To watch a kid rise like that, like a motherfucking phoenix, it was... I'm sorry, my heart's just not in it, man. Um, as you know, my girlfriend broke up with me, and... I mean, I don't, I don't even know if I'm qualified to talk about any of this stuff. Like, what do I know about hip-hop? Adam, you are the voice of your generation. You have an obligation to speak your mind. Sorry, it's just not coming. Moshe was dead, and from his ashes rose Rapzilla with a baseball cap and a crazy voice. His TikTok blew up. Hey, what's up, Mozilla heads? I just heard about this WD-40 challenge that's been going around for lung cancer awareness. Drop a like if you want me to do it. What up, Mozilla heads? You guys nominated me to do the WD-40 challenge, so I got my can of WD-40 right here, and we're about to go chug this whole motherfucking can. Let's do it! Hey, guys. I just woke up from a three-month coma. And I'm telling everyone, don't do the WD-40 challenge. It is not worth it. Rapzilla had become a legend. But once you become a legend, secrets can't stay hidden for long. And we have this story. In an odd turn of events, it was revealed today that this YouTube celebrity is actually a 32-year-old. He was a reporter for the popular podcast American Stories before resurfacing as the teenage star we've come to know as Rapzilla. Well, Don, what do you think of that? On December 18, 2019, Moshe Gelberman was outed by media publications. Who told the media is still unknown? Was it his wife trying to save him? Was it his employer? Was it someone who is good at Googling? All we know is that Rapzilla's fall was ruinous. It made the whole thing feel gross and kind of racist, to be honest. Not that it wasn't before. It just felt more so knowing that he was older, you know? You might think that Moshe would simply kill off Rapzilla and go back to being respected Moshe with a wife and daughter. But this experiment had taken a hold of him. He was too addicted to the drug and could no longer just be Moshe Gelberman. Uh, so some people be saying that I'm like a 32-year-old journalist. And I just wanted to say, that's who I was. I was a 32-year-old man. But that ain't who I am. I am a 17-year-old boy named Rapzilla who speaks truth to power and who's a king. That's and what... thus began a series of misguided comeback videos. First, there was his attempt to reach his main demographic, the bar and bat mitzvah scene. Get on your knees. Walk like a midget. Stay on your knees. Pay a partner's belly. Burn a debt. Buy Axe Body Spray. That became the most disliked video on YouTube. Then, Rapzilla did something horrific. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven, I'm simply here to apologize. When you saw me take a shit on that corpse and call it a fucking fatty, that was obviously unplanned. The reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered, and it wasn't even a good smelling corpse. Maybe if it had used Axe Body Spray, today's sponsor, it would have been a much better smelling corpse. Axe, find your magic. I want to apologize to the internet, to my fans, to all the Zilla heads. The fact was, even though nobody wanted him anymore, he was stuck as Rapzilla. So he moved back home with his parents, which is where he's been ever since, trying to make a comeback. After that shit, nobody wanted me. I tried climbing the charts with a new book I wrote. If I did it, 
where I go in depth of what would have happened had I been the one to kill Nicole Brown Simpson. But nobody wanted to read anything. We tried pairing him up with aged jazz musician Dwayne Johnson, hoping these two luminaries could make magic. Yo. 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 This ain't working. This ain't working. This ain't working. No, this ain't working. It's just not what it was anymore, you know? Now I only get like 800 thou hits on YouTube and like all the comments are like Hitler or the Holocaust was exaggerated. That's no fun to read. Why can't it be spaceship titties anymore? What happened to the spaceship titties? What happened to spaceship titties indeed? The last words of a brilliant young man. Join us next week for another tragic installment of Untold Genius. It was an accident, I think, yeah, no, yeah, I pre pre I'm pretty sure it was an accident. That, that makes sense? Right. Uh.